Hello there and welcome. Like always, you know me, it's your host Amy from Pan Venture, and welcome to another personal font pen collection update video. And it's Friday, it's good weather outside, and I was like, oh, I just can't wait to share this with everyone because there are some interesting moves in my personal font pen collection, and I wanted to share them with you all. And the question is this, do I need more fountain pens? Well, I don't think so. My collection is numbering around 90 fountain pens. Am I going to stop collecting them? Hell no, why? Why should I stop? Because I love them, I love to own them, I love to experiment with them, and uh, sometimes I even pass them along and uh, get them in new collections, so I'm not going to stop. And uh, by the end of this video, you will understand better what happened in my collection lately. And I don't know, let's start with something which recently went out of the collection. And uh, I'm happy to share with everyone that my Nakaya Piccolo, the big Piccolo that we recently reviewed on the channel. There is a the video review up here, I'm gonna link it. That one is on the way to its new owner in Switzerland, and I'm very, very happy that it worked out that way. And I'm very curious to see the feedback from the new owner, and uh, I'm really going to go forward uh, with that intention to check every single detail, and I'm pretty curious to see because she, the new owner, it's a she, she gave up on a few Nakaya Fauna pens just because they had some uh, not that wet nibs and uh, I'm very curious uh, to see her reaction one, once she will check this Fauna pen because I personally tuned that nib a little bit and I think it writes pretty impressive for a Nakaya Fauna pen, at least in my experience. Anyway, that Fauna pen left the collection and I'm gonna update the list down below uh, I'm gonna remove the, the Nakaya Fountain Band from that list. So let's move on from the Nakaya Big Piccolo to what entered the collection, because what entered are four stunning Fountain Bands, four. So one out, four in. I wouldn't say it's on downtrend. On the contrary, it's on the rise. And my collection is expanding quite rapidly. Anyway, let's start with a Fountain Band which wasn't mentioned but you know what Fontaine is all about, and that one is my exclusive Monte Grappa Zero Chrysocolla. Steel nib, medium, this Fontaine, like any other Fontaine that I create as an exclusive collection, will reside in my personal Fontaine collection, and uh, it's one of these pieces, number 0030, and this Fontaine is from the company museum. I'm gonna keep it as a token of remembering every single step that I did and every single fountain band that I've designed. So this fountain band should be on that list down below. I'm gonna update uh, that list right now. This resides with me, still available. I'm gonna link the video review or video overview of this fountain band right here. You can check that, you can see it yourself. It's a limited edition exclusive to Penventure, only 30 fountain bands of which 10 are made in gold nibs and 20 of them are made in steel nibs and from those 20 and the rest 10 in gold nibs a little of half are still available all the others are sold another fountain pen and this time i went and purchased two of them the leonardo supernova the the, the big revelation of this year i went forward and got me a ruthenium trim fountain pen sort of a funny story. I ordered the inventory uh, for our shop and uh, in the ruthenium, I believe one is left or something like this and uh, pretty much all of them are sold. I managed to get for my personal collection number uh, 002 of 199, which is the prototype founder man. So the founder man you see in the pictures with the ruthenium trim that stirred so many people to actually check this impressive collection from Leonardo of Cina Italiana is this fountain pen right here, which resides in my personal fountain pen collection. Came with the 14 karat gold ruthenium plated broad nib, the one from the picture. And I'm pretty proud of that. With this fountain pens, 
which are made in primary manipulation four from uh, Jonathan Brooks at Carolina Pan Company. I couldn't uh, help myself, so I needed to have another one. And I went forward and got me the gold color trim. You know by now that I'm not a huge fan of gold trims. I, in sort of this ranking, I go for rhodium, ruthenium, rose gold and in last place gold but this time it looks so so good and i went forward and got me the gold trim as well and uh, just to stir some envy look at this number zero 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 of 199 the prototype found band from the picture two of this found bands which are now residing in my personal found band collection and i'm so so happy about this found bands and uh, it came with a medium nib just like the pictures and I'm super happy and proud about this two founder pens. The gold trim, I haven't inked it up yet, but it will be inked soon. So these two founder pens, we need to update the list down below, put them right here. So we have one, two, three founder pens. For the last part of the video, I left the biggest surprise. Anyway, recently in my collection, there were some pretty impressive um, updates, some pretty huge founder pens started to show up. I've looked after this Fountain Pants for quite some time and uh, let's, let, let me show you them. So this is my Mikado Denny Trio and this is made in Urushi and it's so so impressive and I love the minimalistic effect of this Urushi coating, the Akata Minuri, which is just like a very very good burgundy color and i love this i love this fauna band i love this nibs 18 karat gold size 8 nibs with this motif from uh, danny trio and i love this and you know by now that i'm a huge fan of urushi and lately my taste in urushi brought me some of the most interesting fauna bands in my collection and uh, another mention is this huge huge namiki emperor vermilion so it's my first namiki and uh, I don't know where I'm supposed to go up from here in regards of collecting Namiki Fountain Pants because this is the Emperor and it's not called like that for nothing. It's, it's big. I mean, look at this. It's, it's, it's huge. It's huge. The size 50 Namiki nib and uh, this is quite the center point of my um, Urushi collection. And this two Fountain Pants showed up in the last three four weeks and yeah this happened right here this box so it's from urushipan.com it may still look like a tiny box but it packs a huge huge fountain pen yeah it's a Danny trio and uh, this is quite an impressive fountain pen and there are a few few months or even years since i've been looking forward at this moment when i will be able to own or to collect a very very big denny trio fountain pen and it doesn't get any bigger than this and by now i think you suspect which model is this so this is my denny trio Genkai. Finally, I landed a Genkai. I do own a short Genkai, which is this one right here. Impressive fountain pen, impressive finish. This incredible Urushi coating is not that crowded. I love the color. It came with the clip, very, very rare on a Genkai. But this is the short Genkai and it's Sho Genkai. This is the abbreviation for this model. Impressive fountain pen, it came with a medium nib, has been in my collection for the past three or four years. Actually, at one point it switched owner and it was sent off to a very good friend of mine and it resided in his collection for a few months. Then it came back to me and I have the Rushi coating redone in order to preserve it because in time it developed some issues with the Rushi coating and I had to preserve it. And that's the beauty of Urushi, it can be fixed. And now the Genkai. This is one of the, if not the biggest fauna band in my collection. And it's bigger than the Emperor itself. Take a look at this. So actually it's bigger than the Emperor. Not by much, but again, it is a huge, huge fountain band. 
The Urushi lacquer that I picked on my Genkai is Tamenuri in yellow and uh, sort of a very, very attractive finish lately for me. I was looking forward at getting an Akai in Toki Tamenuri, but this showed up and I said, okay, let me try this and I'm gonna see with that Toki later. And uh, it has this impressive size eight gold nib. And this time I went with the stub and I couldn't pick a better size because this is a huge fountain pen and this stub nib is so, so glorious and I can't wait to show you. Take a look at the color of this amazing Gurushi coating and you can pretty much see this beautiful honey amber color at every round surface, at every edge. The gradient color which is slightly moving from darker here towards more lighter right here it's done like a painting i don't know what it is it's just like art and i love this and you cannot blame me for that this is the latest acquisition in my personal fun band collection and uh, we should update the list down below i'm numbering i believe four Danny Trio Fauna Pants. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four Danny Trio Fauna Pants. I think I'm okay right now. Anything that I will pick more from Danny Trio will be something done with Maki A, probably in the future. Till then, on the list, I still have a Nakaya Fauna Pan, and this time I'm gonna lean forward at finding something which is a little bit bigger than the big Piccolo and not like the dorsal fin, so something in between those two fountain pens in a finish like Tokita Menuri. Anyway, let me show you how this fountain pen rides because this nib is so, so glorious. Excuse me, I still feel a little bit weird with the voice and I'm still recuperating. And uh, let's, let's keep the valve closed for the beginning. And this is Danny. Trio, oh my God, I love this nib, this stub nib, this 18 karat gold nib is, is fantastic. Genkai, Tame Nuri in yellow. And it's a wet nib, don't get me wrong, it is a fire hose wet nib. But take a look what happens when you open the shot of valve and you increase the flow and be prepared. Danny Trio. I mean, it is a monster. It will put down a huge, huge, humongous ink flow. And I love this photo, Ben. And uh, It has a hint of a feedback, nothing unpleasant, and it's crispy enough to be qualified as a stub, but still cursive and it doesn't pinch the paper. It doesn't feel like it's like a chisel. Still a pleasurable experience when writing with it, no matter how you turn it, no matter how you put it on the paper, it will lay down plenty of ink to get you excited and I love this nib and the first impressions are stunning, stunning, stunning. I love this fountain pen so, so much and I can't wait to get my hand around this nib and to see it in action in more of my writing samples and in my writing sessions. It's not an cheap fountain pen, it's quite expensive. We're dealing with a fountain pen that's closely to almost 2,000 euros, so a lot, a lot. I acquired it from urushipan.com in the US and I'm pretty happy with their uh, service and everything flowed very nice. I got the fountain pen in four days and that's very impressive and uh, it's smooth sailing and I love it, love it, love it, love it. Now let's update the list down below. There you can find the entire fountain pen collection that I own at this very moment. And uh, if you are interested to see what I'm owning at this very moment, you can check there and see it yourself. I've wrote down every single fountain pen with every single nib size, and you can check there and see yourself. You can number it and you can be updated with my collecting habits as they occur. 
Thank you very much for spending this time with me on the Penvenger YouTube channel. Thank you for enjoying uh, this hobby as a uh, community together with me. Stay tuned because in the next period, I look forward at picking a few fun events from my personal fun pen collection, which are going to be put up on the Penvenger website for sale in order to make room for some of uh, the fun events that are going to show up. And I'm not going to give you any spoilers on that. Thank you very much for your support, for your appreciation, for uh, spending this time with me. Uh, if you scroll down below, you'll find the links for our website, our social media accounts, phone number, email, anything and everything that you may need in order to get in contact with us. And if you're looking for an next writing instrument, don't hesitate, contact me and uh, I will do my best to help you out. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. This will help us a lot with the YouTube algorithm and everything. And uh, if you want to support the growth of the Penventure YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe. You can do that right now. Just click there, turn the notification bell on, and you will be notified whenever there is new content. And speaking about new content, here you have another video of mine. Click and enjoy. Like always, it's me, Emmy, and I'll forward seeing you next video. Take care, stay safe, bye-bye.